Teachers across the Kansas City area learning some new skills before heading back to the classroom with your kids. Today, hundreds will gain resources to help get your kids interested in STEM. Joel Nichols live in Kansas City with more on how they hope to achieve that. Joel, if it's fun, they'll pay attention, right? Absolutely, that's true for uh, for learners of every age. And we are here at Burns and McDonald and Travis. That's what the new sign is going to say. They're going to add Travis Jackson to the sign because he is teaching us what he's going to teach the teachers. And before we do this big race, tell us briefly again what these 350 teachers are going to learn from you and and your cohorts. So we're here at the uh, second annual Burns McDonald Educator right. Summit. So today we'll have over 350 teachers uh, from over 190. Uh, Kansas City metro area schools and so they'll be here to hopefully get some information and resources that they can take back to their classrooms to be able to teach their students about STEM fields and hopefully encourage them to become STEM professionals. Science, technology, engineering, math Correct. and there are lots of jobs available in those fields just not always a lot of people to take those jobs. Definitely there was like 7,000 some STEM jobs in Kansas City and only about half were be able to be filled last year. Wow. What so are we going to learn right here? What are, so we're going to be taking, doing a little experiment with some static electricity. Got it. So this is a super cheap really easy to do. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is mess up that nice hair you got. Okay, well so, I've got my synthetic toupee on, so this will work out. You want to get some balloons and just rub them on your hair okay, for here a we while. Go. So you want to make a big mess out of it. So the, the stronger you rub it, uh, the better. Yeah, exactly. Like that. So we'll is that be, good? All right. The static electricity. Now will what are we gonna do? So now you want to get some like uh, soda cans, right? And get a flat surface where they'll be able to roll. So you want to put them on their side. All right. And now we're gonna race. Hey, you're cheating. You're still I am rubbing. cheating. I'm still. There you go. Come on, buddy. How come it's not rolling? Oh, no. You didn't rub hard enough. Come on. So you can also hey, use it. Yeah, there you go. So you can also use a towel uh, as well if you don't want to mess up with your hair. But your hair usually works You're a lot better. You're not even moving, Travis. Oh, because I want to give you an advantage. Yeah, right. Exactly. See? Look at that. That's all. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and Travis also teaches us how to cheat. That's I, amazing, though. I played soccer. That, I couldn't resist. That is all static electricity. Exactly. So what's happening here is w when you're rubbing it in your hair, you're providing electrons to the balloon. And right. so electrons are little negatively charged particles. And they're able to, when you put it next to the Coke can, it drives does the electrons away. It does. Good it look looks for fantastic. me. Uh, they're going to have so much fun here and learn so much and then take it into the classrooms for your children here in the metro area. It's this looks good. This is my new look. Hope you like it. I really, ah, and when in doubt, kick the can, right? That's pretty fun. Fun That's stuff right. this morning. Thank you, Joel.